So hello again guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be, we'll be creating a simple transition animation from a hamburger icon, the burger icon, going back to the X icon without breaking anything in Figma like that. And after that, we'll, I will try to expand it and see it, how it works in mobile applications. In your mobile presentations, guys. So first we're gonna understand first the concept and then apply it further, okay? So now we'll have a frame here. That's a simple frame. That we'll explore the concept on how to do this, okay? So have it like this. So we'll create three rectangles. The first rectangle. So if you don't know how to create rectangle, it is here on the side. Click here and rectangle. The hotkey for it is R. And just click and drag like that. And then we'll duplicate it. Click. And then click and drag Alt Shift to click to keep it on the same orientation as this one, and then let go and Control D. So we have like three now. So we're gonna just duplicate the frame. Just align this one. Duplicate the frame here, there. Uh, align this also on the on the upper part. So it's aligned now properly. So what I did there is I just group it and just click here, alignments. Okay. So be sure that it's the same group name. So now we're gonna name it as frame, uh, not frame, but I, I call hamburger, ham. And this one is also a ham. So for, uh, for other instances, they Figma, if you like, search around Figma files, their, their preference is always like not grouping stuff, but framing them. So instead of being a group, this would be like a, another frame like that, but I don't like it. I really don't like it. It is the best practice for Figma, having it frame on frame, then frame, not grouping them. So for now, we'll have ham here and ham there. We have two hams right now. So we know that the rectangle one is on the top side, rectangle two is on the bottom side, rectangle three is on the very bottom side. So we'll just arrange it in order so that it's the same, so that we won't be confused. You don't need to do this actually. So now it's grouped like that. We're gonna double click it, this double click and rotate it 45 degree angle here. You can see the rotation here. 45 degree or you can just double click then rotate it and hit shift until it hits 45 like that and also the bottom one we're gonna rotate the bottom one also so it's rectangle one and rectangle three so the top and the bottom one 45 let's check that 45 and we will align them like that align them vertically on center and horizontally and click the group and align them to the to the frame so now it looks like a asterisk or the logo of the red hot chili peppers so what you will do here is double click this guy rectangle q2 so if you want to select something in the group always double click remember that double click and let's just make it a square right now so it's 83 so the width will be 83 also that and center it center it a bit there so now you can see that it is actually centered there so what what will happen in this animation is this guy is going to be a square and these two guys will be like intersecting with each other and forming an x so that's the concept of the hamburger animation so let's do that first uh prototype it Click here and then just click on this on this uh, icon and then drag it there. And after drag it there, we can just have the smart animate there. Ease in, make it faster so it won't you the user will not see the what you call this, the middle part being a square or something. <laughs> make it just a little bit faster, okay. So it's like one hundred or fifty. So let's just put fifty on this one. And we're gonna 
have it back again click here back here to a on click interaction easy in a 50 smart animate smart animate on click 50 millisecond 50 easy in you can experiment on this smart animate okay so we're gonna play it so let's see how it looks like So you can see that transition. So the user actually doesn't see that the this thingy actually turns into a square. But if you make it really, really slow, not really slow, uh, just slow enough, like about 300 is the default, right? No second. User can actually see it. You can see that. It turns into a square there and rotates it there. So it's recommended for me just do it like 100 or 50. So for 100, it's not actually seeable. You can actually see it, still see it, the animation there. So if it's 50, yeah, it's like blazing there. Oops. Like that. So we're going to try to apply this one and for i mean new so i i'm gonna be i'm gonna be designing some stuff first a few moments later so here would be another example on how to do this like we're gonna apply it on real life okay so here is the mobile version of redact expect no it's not mobile but the web version of redact at the site right so it clicks like this like that it goes out and in so we want to imitate that but let's add some spice to it not some spice but our own interpretation so i don't want here it to be here i want it to be there i want it to be a little more chubby and let's apply the x x factor on this one so hmm we'll have i have two setups here like these two setups let's delete the flow here two setups here to get established and the overlay here so now we're going to duplicate this so this is the top bar and then this one is the hamburger menu so we have there the one two three right and have this one with the rectangle there as the container there let's just label it as a container container nav like that let's just put it below there below everything there and we have grouped all of this stuff right now because we're, we're not actually going to need it we're not going to do anything about it and then we're going to duplicate this going here let's just ensure that this one is on the tip of top of the of the frame so now it's on the frame right now so it's on top there what we're going to do is create a rectangle like this one so first, we're going to do a rectangle about here, going here. So we're going to follow the red guides. Check that. So be sure that we are on the, on this, on the last side of that one. So that it fits snugly on it. We're going to apply the same corner. This corner has five on it with this one so it's five also and then i'm gonna put it on the back like that and it looks like that so it seems like it comes from here navigation comes from here and it will be expanding there so let's just do it like this center it a bit and adjust adjust accordingly mm -hmm. There we go. And we're going to change the color to this color. There we go. So you can see here that this color is different from the background color right now. So now we're going to just apply the navigation stuff here that we have created. Paste it there. Center it a bit. And what we will do right now is we're going to X this one. We're going to create an X for that one. Rectangle 1 will be tilted 45 degrees. 
rectangle three really within tilted 45 degrees again negative 45 degrees and this one will be a square so we just copy this to the width now it's a dot so center it align horizontal then align vertical so we have now the x then let's align it actually in the container so that like that and be sure that this aligns with this one so we're gonna align these two frames and let's just align these two also i guess that's good uh let's see ham remember the grouping names and the names under the groups the rectangle one two three should be the same so this one is also ham one two three container nav like that um other things is we're gonna group this to the pop-up here we're gonna group it we're gonna have it called navigation navigation pop put it down again and we're gonna paste it before the screen All right and then so for the transition we'll just make it smaller and bigger so it is opaque then smaller and bigger so so we will make it smaller just press k for the scaling tool this is k scaling this is different from the tool that you use if you use the move tool because if you don't scale it will look like this this is re responsive uh, scaling so we want it to scale properly like rasterization scaling or something i just made it up okay so about here about there and then we'll have it like zero opacity the pa the layer opacity is zero so the navigation pop navigation pop here there will ex expand like this one and the navigation here will become an x so that's that's done and we'll just have to prototype it so click on the hamber hamburger icon, prototype, click and drag to the next screen. And after that, we'll have it on ease in 200. So we're gonna just have it on a slower one so that it will be the animation of the, the thing, the menu will be seen. Okay, so have this smart animate there unclick navigate to that's good and click this one we're gonna have an on click there ease in also smart and animate 200 millisecond so we're just gonna play it a bit so waiting for it let's see what will happen so the concept is clicking here goes here creates creates an x and it shows the menu button menus okay let's just click Oh, didn't click. Click. Hello. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's the flow. Flow five. Uh, we're gonna click. Shows like that. So it becomes an X. Like that. So pretty cool now. Pretty neat. You can actually create like more, more intricate animations for this one like slide up slide down for transitions of it so if you want to know more about it figma is actually has a files for this one i'm gonna put the link on the description down below this is an old like design file from figma but it's like semi-updated it's from 2019 and if you want to learn more about this i'm gonna, I'm gonna actually create a semi video series on how to create these things like more simpler and step-by-step -step process if you cannot interpret the Figma file itself so like these ones so we, we just created this thing so this thing is like another level of it another intricate level of it one it does some pull-ups and pull-downs drag drag animations there and some transition animations of this one i'm going to put the link down in the description also the figma file is on the description down below for these ones okay so feel free to use it Feel free to use it. Feel free to experiment on it. I hope this uh, easy tutorial will bring you up to speed on like, creating the like basic, very basic animations of Figma. 
it's gonna eat it's this easy it's this it's this think of it just like powerpoint okay it's very easy and you just need to know the basics on it and you can create more intricate animations for the for each each screen's mobile or web i hope you have enjoyed this video give a like a thumbs up if you really like it and uh, share this one to your friends designer friends so stay safe everyone and have a good one